Lance Hormby from Post Media here at the MasterCard Center uh, after the first and only scrimmage game of the Maple Leafs uh, 2018 development camp. A uh, chance for Mike Babcock uh, steady, sitting up in the stands and uh, guest coaches such as uh, Haley Wickenheiser and uh, Ryan Chloe to uh, uh, to evaluate uh, where these kids might be, uh, kind of set them up for a very good summer of uh, conditioning, uh, nutrition, uh, that kind of thing. A little bit of a team bonding before. Uh, some of them return to the rookie camp uh, in September. Some of them will go back to junior and some of them may have an outside shot at the Marlies or the Maple Leafs. Uh, very interesting that we talked to uh, Haley Wickenheiser, uh, the great uh, Canadian female star, uh, making her coaching debut of sorts uh, here, and uh, she was quite interested to learn uh, about uh, what it's like behind the bench and uh, possibly a future in coaching or with the Maple Leafs in player development. I've been around uh, hockey a long time, so it's it's fun to be to be back in the game uh, here this week. I'm, uh, learning a lot from uh, being around all the coaches and I've worked with some of them for a long time in the past too so it's a familiar environment. Uh, how close do you think we are in the National Hockey League to having a female uh, be on the bench and be a, a, like we have some yeah. skating coaches but, but yeah. truly be on the main staff? Well I think hockey's probably um, behind in all pro sports in that area to be honest. I think that um, you know there are maybe a couple of women that I could see that would have the ability and, and maybe the interest to do it so I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility it's more getting around the tradition and and sort of the culture that exists in hockey which is not easy uh, at this level for a woman to break into so you have to be the right kind of person the personality you have to have the skill set and the experience to do it and uh, I think we'll see it at some point in time it's got to be a progressive organization but I think um, you know, with Kyle here in the Leafs, he wants to think differently and do things differently, and I, um, you know, I think that's that's good for the the game. It's good for the team in general. We continue to have a conversation with Kyle as to you know what uh, what they might be interested in after this. We've talked a few times, and um, if there's uh, you know a role for me here, then that's great. Moving forward, I, I'd be interested to see what happens and stay stay in hockey. That would be that would be fun to to do that uh, and see where it takes me. I guess at this point. Brady Ferguson uh, from Robert Morris University had a couple of points and was asked about what it was like to take instructions from a person such as Haley Wickenheiser. She's awesome. Um, she's a legend. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, you look at this coaching staff and it's, it's kind of shock. Like, yeah. It's eye-opening, really, yeah. Uh, yeah. especially for me, um, coming from a smaller school. Mm -hmm. um, our coaches, I mean, they did a really mm -hmm. good job with our, our school yeah. and our team. and. Um, I learned a lot there, but mm -hmm. this is just another level. It's mm -hmm. it's really eye opening. Right. And did you happen to take a look around, see Babcock up in the stands? Or <laughs> uh, or? He yeah. came in the locker room. Oh and yes. Yeah. Getting the getting the boys all jacked yeah. up, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just look at all the Stanley Cups and uh, the facilities are mm -hmm. unbelievable. Some of these kids you'll see again in September when the Maple Leafs uh, rookies arrive for a couple of exhibition games, uh, but mostly uh, it's uh, you know two or three years down the road you may uh, see some of uh, some of this talent on display. Play, and for the rest of the week, they'll be uh, back to practice before taking a long summer break. From the MasterCard Center, Lance Hornby for Post Media.